The Champions for Change program is a program that's run out of Rheumatic Heart Disease Australia and it's to get a group of people together. Uh, they're volunteers. It's a group of people together that can give the messages out to community around uh, acute rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease. Uh, it also uh, allows people to come together so they can share their experiences. Not only have we got them from all across Australia, but we've also got a variety of people working for us as Champions for Change. And uh, our program is called Champions for Change, Inspiring, Caring and Sharing. So they're inspiring others, they're caring for others in the community and sharing their stories. There's, uh, there's a lot to be said for uh, people with the lived experience to be able to go to health professionals, to be able to go to uh, people, even politicians, government, to talk about the stories behind the statistics. And we've just been at a conference and we've heard that the stories behind the data gives meaning to the data. The champions are also not just those with the lived experience, but also health professionals. So we have a few Aboriginal health practitioners as champions. And yesterday, I'm pleased to say, we got our first Aboriginal environmental health officer as a champion. It's just sort of in a, almost like a pilot phase, so phase one, where the champions have designed the program themselves through two workshops that we had in Darwin. And the next, I suppose in the future what I'd like is that we have more champions and we have funding to help the champions uh, to undertake the, the vital work that they do need in community. But in the future it would be good to be able to have some of the champions in a paid position. So uh, I think what happens is that if we build the champion program, if it's a good program, people hopefully will be wanting to uh, support it and that's financially and support that through uh, some partnerships. So hopefully the message will be out there, Champions for Change. It's the only one I know of in Australia for rheumatic heart disease. It's never been done in Australia. First Champions for Change program. So when it builds a bit of legs, I hope that uh, yeah, we, we grow great partnerships, that we get support from government to be able to do the work that we need to do. And the champions need to be supported, so to build them support networks around them in the community. Um, very important that we didn't have champions and that they're in the communities feeling like they're alone and uh, feel like they have to take on all the responsibility of acute rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease in the community. So building up them structures and support around the champion is very important and something that we'll be looking at in the future.